Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Italia 2022 for the women's under 57 category. And in white, we have Faiza Mokhtar uh, from France. And in blue, we have Miriam Boy from Italy. And they're just uh, getting started right now, so let's join them in action. A lot of energy from Faiza circling Miriam just to get the grip and goes in for a nice drop just a, a little under rotated like say five percent under rotated but that looks pretty good i think that we're probably going to see that coming again uh even still you know the entry is good would like to see a little drive off of that like so get in but then kick it into the next gear <coughs> would do a lot i think but uh all right so see what Miriam's got we've seen the drop from Faiza so Go to, right now going they're both going double sleeve uh, you think something like that you're gonna see a so day but uh, nothing really at this point just sort of controlling each other and not letting each other really do much with that right so Another uh, say away attack, sort of, but I don't know if that's really very legitimate. And uh, yeah, Miriam gets a little bit of grace there. I was expecting a a sort of a passive penalty there for not attacking, because uh, really, what has she attacked with so far? Not much. And if we get to another mate, this may be a penalty. And even just the gripping, breaking the grip and not going back in for a new grip. There's lots of things that could be penalized here. Oh, there it is. Nice. That's going to be Wazari for sure. That's Wazari, right? So the drops, the drop say away did, did work. Um, as it seemed, it had put lots of potential on in the first go around. Um, but uh, landing on the side also didn't have a ton of power on it. But hey, Wazari is a Wazari, right? So take it. Now burning a lot more time uh, by Faza there going into the Newaza. Connecting the heel to the knee. Very classic. But uh, I don't think this is really going to result in much of a turnover. But it does look like progression. So uh, yeah. Is she going to get grab the leg or no no okay doesn't bother all right that that burned off like a good 20 plus seconds though so heck <laughs> uh i don't think phase has got a problem with that okay once again going in for the drop uh which did work really well no what i didn't like seeing there from miriam was she escaped she didn't get thrown she hit the deck which is fine, but then stayed there. Like, get up. <laughs> Where's the urgency, you know? So, uh, okay, so Mate again. It's called. Yes. Finally, this referee has, uh, has a penalizer for this passivity. Showing a lot more, uh, initiative now for Miriam, but where was this this whole time? Come on. Like, okay, fine. Be aggressive about this, but then. Let's see a throw. That's or an attack of some sort. I'm not gonna count that. <laughs> okay, that I think is probably gonna be a penalty on Faza there. Yeah, a false attack. You can't just dive to the ground, guys. Come on. But she is up. I can't tell how much time is left, but there can't be that much time, and certainly not enough. Like, there's a short amount of time. I'm not gonna like penal penalty out in the amount of time that's left, right? So. And especially Miriam is not making her look bad at all, right? Like, so if Miriam's gonna win, she's gotta throw some, throw a haymaker or something, right? Come on, let's let's show a little fire. Uh, and of course, uh, Faza comes in for the drop again. This is gonna be, I think, this will be it. It was always gonna stand um, in my prediction, and that, that is rightly so. Okay. Well, congratulations to uh, Faza there for the uh, 
victory by Wazari. The uh, drop AOE worked, and uh, you know it wasn't the cleanest, fastest, you know, uh, whatever. But hey, you know what? Uh, she got clipped. Right? She got the Wazari. That's uh, that was enough. And th the other thing too is I don't know if how much to ascribe to it, but uh, Miriam, I didn't s like. I can't even really count any like really credible throws like that or attacks that you saw from this so um you know i would like hopefully to miriam to think about like okay why what what happened here like why why wasn't there a, th a, a real throw attempted right is it because she can't really play the grip game like so is that what it is psychologically i don't know you know but like uh, i'd like to see a little bit more from miriam in terms of at least th putting yourself out there risking something then you know getting pointed out and then you know she could have lost this on on penalties too like the way it was going so um this referee here wasn't too trigger happy let's say on the penalties but i could see other referees definitely um she doing her out right for not attacking so anyways those are my thoughts if you have your own please uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed this video hit like and subscribe and until next match, have a great night.